Have you ever had that feeling when your mood becomes corrosive and the brain inside your head feels like a second world war explosive? Your heart booms full of thunder, like it's saying I'm distressed. And if you don't do something soon, mate, I'm gonna smash straight out your chest. My body was a volcano. My sister watched my eyeballs crack. She said I don't wish to be mean, Jack, but you're having a monster panic attack. Only one place to be, Jack. Let's get down to A&E, Jack. You've always been half manic, but now it's turned to full-blown panic. So I got to A&E. It was like a different planet. All colors, shapes, and shades of humanity lost in their own calamity. There were centenarians and babies. One thought she had rabies. One was sighing, one was screaming, one was scheming and blaspheming. My consciousness was exploding With fret and fear and loathing I sense with some foreboding Someone's bowels must be unloading But there was order in the chaos Among the blood and pain and crying Staff gracefully in charge of the trivial and the dying Only one place to be, Jack Let's get down to A&E, Jack and among the Saudis and the Yemenis, I saw a young doctor called Jeremy, who said life must be quite tough, Jack, when your mind becomes your enemy. Just take me by the hand. I can see that you've been manic. Bad food and lack of sleep has made you feel satanic. Take these small green pills. They should stabilize your head. You'll be unconscious for a week. So get back home to bed. And when my symptoms had subsided, I began to feel quite groovy. Could my life in A&E be a Bollywood movie? There's people out to starve it, truss it up and carve it. But in the end, it's our best friend. It guides you when you feel bleakest. It saved me when I felt weakest. I know it's crap paying tax, but I for one feel blessed that our beleaguered health service is our nation that is best.